There's me and Alice. <laughs> there we are. I did want to make some type of games with like some illustrated animations. I know it's like you don't really see it as often when you see real, like hand drawn cell by cell animated games or anything. But it would be really cool to make like a little emote animation, like maybe make the emote girl like running across the screen and we could start with that type of thing. It'd be pretty fun to make some animated games, but also I just need to practice some animations so that we can create some uh, real cartoons and get this show on a roll. Man, these brushes are really, really pretty. Like, I love when the, the tip of the brush stroke is like an actual beautiful brush stroke. And if it's all light stroke, it's all actually nice. So this is a raster layer. Um, you can basically like just draw on here. I saw someone was doing like some examples on a tutorial. He was like doing a bunch of just like brush strokes like this, and then he would do a different layer where he'd like do the line work on top of the um, just kind of. You got like the just I don't know. Basically, you can make the one layer and then draw a better layer on top and then delete the one on bottom. <laughs> there, we got a game. One day we can make like one of those journals like how they have in Life is Strange and stuff and just have like a bunch of little doodles. We could spend all week just doing doodles in a journal for one of our games. In the mom's house we did last year, we did actually start to make a journal in the room. And I wasn't sure if I wanted to draw the journal. Like in a lot of my favorite games they have the nice hand drawn journals and stuff. But there was also um the option to like take photos of actual things that are in my actual journals from back in the day. Some of that obviously I can't really, I mean, I don't know. I don't, I'm not really in touch with everybody that's in my scrapbooks. <laughs> Most of them I am, but you know, a lot of people probably wouldn't want to like put in a game, but maybe some of my photos in my old scrapbooks I could put in an actual game. I can't believe the brush strokes are just so nice. Like, like actual hair, looks like actual hair strokes, you know? Show in timeline! Wait, where's the timeline? Wait, usually in Photoshop you go to Windows and then Timeline. Or like View and then Timeline. Snapping! Snapping! Got snapping to nodes, all kinds of snapping to things. Uh, haha. <laughs> all these nice different themes to choose from. I like how they naturally had the dark version selected. That really helps. <laughs> timeline, timeline. There it is. Hey! Hey! There's... Oh, I see! Okay, cool! So even though I can't figure out how to press play, it did copy that first frame for the first 30 frames. So say you wanted one animation and it was like going to be all the same on one frame, then you could just duplicate that and then draw all the other parts. Cool, but wait, how do you play it? No guides. Uh... Okay, then you can export. How do you export it anyway? Convert? <laughs> Yay! Oh, the piano player Freddie Mercury also wait, used to record Bohemian Rhapsody is the same one Paul McCartney used to for Hey Jude. Oh, the piano? Oh, wow. Damn, that's like a sacred piano there. <laughs> cool. I 
I can't wait to do all these different frames. I don't even know if I want to do a storyboard first or just do more of this first. Usually a play button is like right around here. I don't know. How do you press play on Krita? Workspace, back to animation. This is the animation workspace right here. So what was that other dockers option? Yeah. Settings under dockers. There's these other options like I hadn't seen before until now. Oh, onion skin! There it is, onion skin. Okay, what else under dockers do we want? Comics manager? Brush presets. Um Definitely some of these are awesome. Palette. Oh my god, I can't wait to make my own palette. Honestly, I'm kind of liking this better than Clip Studio a little bit, except for the fact that I can't figure out how to play. All right, here's my play finally. You just have to be in the animation dock, have that dock open, and then you'll see this play button. I feel like I already know how to use this program now. This is awesome. Oh, here's the onion skin. Look at how many onion skin you can see in a row. Right here, you can choose to see up to like 10 at a time in both directions. That's awesome. This is seriously the coolest new program that I've played in a while. I gotta make a couple more emotes. I wanna make a Ramon emote and another kitty, kitty girl emote. If I can settle on a kitty uh, character, then that would probably be one of my next things because I would love to make the, um, I want to make a cat game. <laughs> I know I keep saying this, but it would be fun to make an animated version too. If not the cat girl, then the little emoji girl and have the emoji girl running across the screen doing stuff. Yay, we can put on big face mode. <laughs> Yay, I got this green shirt. We're going to try to make this shirt into a, um, a Lori Croft cosplay shirt. <laughs> That's my goal with the green shade. Thanks for hanging out, Nocturnal Monsters, and the good company. Thanks, Ramon. Yeah, I'll probably eat some food. I'll probably be up for another couple hours at least, but then I'll wake up early and maybe I'll even try to stream in the morning. I feel like a lot of mornings are times when I feel like I could stream or it would be fun to stream, and I, I could probably get. Uh, we got Gray DP. Gray is live. Wait, what is he doing? It says, sorry guys, no stream, but he's streaming. <laughs> We're gonna celebrate the rest of Kitty's birthday. I'm gonna try to find a little birthday hat and strap it on her head and I'll take a picture of that before bed. <laughs> Sweet. All right, friends. Um, Gotta find my chat. Cool. Have a good night.